after contacting the tax office and getting your e-services account set up, you're now ready to file your taxes online. To start, go to the Tax Administration website by entering jamaicatax.gov.jm into your browser. You log in by selecting this link. On the login screen, you will be prompted to enter the username and password you received from TAJ when you had set up your eServices account. For this tutorial, we'll be using an example sole trader called ABC Limited. After logging in, you'll be taken to another page. To file your self-employed taxes, select this blue button under the Manage My eServices Account section. You have now entered the home screen of your eServices account. At this point, you need to gather your financial records TRN, NIS, and the date your business started operation. You can find the date your business started operation on your company registration certificate. You may need to get a P24 form if you work a nine to five job and your employer deducts and files PAYE taxes on your behalf. For now, we won't dive into the options shown on the right side of the screen. To begin filing your tax return, you will instead go down to the section at the bottom of the screen and select the Accounts tab. There you'll see all the taxes for which you are liable. Select the link that says Income Tax. When you complete the filing for Income Tax, all the other taxes will be automatically calculated. You do not have to create separate returns for education tax, NIS, or NHT. Now, a lot of people wonder, what if I only registered my business, but I have not started operating and making money? Do I still need to file taxes? The answer to that question is yes. Once you register your sole trader business with company's office, you are required by law to file taxes before March 15th every year, whether you're in operation or you made a loss instead of a profit. In common terms, the return you file when your business is not in operation is known as a nil return. We will now go through the process of filing a nil return. On this page, we work with the tabs on the lower half of the page, down here. To start, we ensure that the periods tab is selected. Then we select the period for which you're filing a return. In this example, our business, ABC Limited, was registered but not operational in 2022. We then need to file a nil return for the period ending December 2022. So we select the option for that year. Notice that there is a warning symbol beside each period for which you have returns to be filed. Now we'll enter the information as requested on the screen. A yellow triangle is shown over all the mandatory sections to be filled on this form. Please read the writing here in red before you proceed. It's a description of how the tax office defines employment and you need to understand it because it affects the amount of taxes you will be assessed for. Always read every notification before submitting or moving on to another page of the return.
We'll now begin to fill out this form. First things first, you would enter your NIS number. Then you would select whether this is your first time filing. Because our company just started in 2022, we'll select yes. Now you indicate the period being filed by selecting a date. For this example, we'll assume that our business started on the 1st of June, 2022. For the end of the period, for the accounting period, we'll select the beginning of the calendar year. This is because we need to have an end date that falls within the current filing period. Next, we'll select whether we're a resident of Jamaica and we will also enter the date our business registered. For this example, our business was registered in June 2022. The next question asks if we've commenced trading. Since we only registered our business but we haven't begun operations, we'll select no for this answer. Are you gainfully occupied in Jamaica? Gainfully occupied was defined in this section. So at this point in time, for example, we'll select no. Are you gainfully employed was also described in this section in red. We'll also select no for this example. Are you employed to a foreign agency, high commission, consulate, or agency of the United Nations, or any interna other international organization? For this example, we'll select no. For this question, they ask if our financial accounts were prepared internally or externally. ABC Limited has prepared its financial accounts internally. Here, we'll put the preparer's name In this case, it would be your name. The preparer's name here would be John Brown, who is the owner of ABC Limited. Now we'll enter John Brown's TRN and his address. We also need to enter a telephone number. Once that information is entered, we'll select same as above here because we want the address for John Brown to appear on the return. This is because John Brown is a sole trader, the owner of ABC Limited. Then we'll select next. On this new page, we'll now enter our income information. Let's read this section in red together. Now this page is a description of our summary of income. And it says if our gross receipts or sales income exceeds 10 million, we'll check the box at line one to complete the return and attach financial statements. If gross income does not exceed 10 million, 
Click the hyperlink at line one and complete schedule one. Now, in this case, because our business is not operational, we did not exceed 10 million in sales or income. So we'll uncheck this box and instead we'll click the link to enter the amount earned. But we didn't earn any money because our business was not operational. This is what the schedule looks like, but we'll leave all these figures at zero because our business has not been operational. Now, I'll go through each section when we complete an actual filing, but because we're now filing a nil return, we'll leave all these sections at zero and move on to the next page. This page covers our income. We didn't earn any income, so we'll just move on to the next page. This page deals with exemptions, deductions, and start statutory income and available losses. We don't have any of those because our business was not operational during this period. So we'll just go ahead and select next. On this page, your income and education tax will be calculated. But there is no calculation to be made because our business was not operational. Now you notice that our yellow triangles have reappeared. This means that on this page, we have required information to submit on this form. So we'll now go ahead and fill out this schedule. You would answer the questions truthfully based on your circumstances. So this question asks, are you a domestic worker? We know that John Brown from ABC Limited is not a domestic worker. So our answer to this question is no. The next question is, are you a Jamaican citizen employed by an embassy, high commission, consulate, United Nations agency located in Jamaica? John Brown is none of these things. So our answer is no. Do you have any income from self-employment? For this period, the answer is no, because our business is not operational. Notice here in section C, it asks us about NHT deducted and paid by an employer. In this case, John does not have a job outside of his self-employed operation at ABC Limited. So we'll move on to the next question. It asks, were you employed during this year? And then you'd have to complete a table on the next page if your answer was yes. If in this example, our answer is no. Then it asks, are you a Jamaican citizen employed by an embassy? No. Were you employed as a domestic worker? No. Do you have any income from self-employment? No. Here in section C, it asks for an NIS paid stamp or an NIS deduction card. We don't have any of that. And this question in blue asks, during the year of assessment, did you conduct any transaction with an affiliated company or connected person? The answer to this question is no, because John Brown has not done business with any of these parties. Next comes our attachment list. On this section, we would upload our financial statements, but because our business has not been operation, we will select this button that says, I choose to submit my files at a later date. 
and then we'll go on to the next page by clicking next. Remember, on each page, you should check through to ensure that you've entered the information correctly and that your answers have been correctly selected. Complete. Here in section six, we can see a summary of our entire filing so far. You'll notice that all the sections here have zero in all the number columns because we're filing a nil return. So the section relating to our income is nil. We don't have any tax computed because we didn't earn any income. And so we'll go down to the end of the page. And at this point, we would submit the return. Here, it asks you to declare that the information you have entered is true. Please note that this declaration is a legally binding declaration. It will also ask you to confirm that whether you're sure if you want to submit this return. You select OK to confirm. After submitting your return, you will see a confirmation screen. This tells you that your return has been successfully submitted and your account will be updated overnight. You are free to make changes to this return anytime before March 15 without incurring penalties. You're also able to get a printed copy of your return by clicking printable view here. To exit this window, you would select OK. That would take you back to your initial page and you'll see here that there's no longer a warning symbol beside the year 2022 because we've now submitted a return for that period. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to file a nil return using the Tax Administration of Jamaica website. Please keep in mind that you will be required to pay an NIS contribution when you do file a nil return. So make sure that you settle that amount with tax office as soon as your filing is complete. Don't forget to subscribe, let us know in the comments what you'd like to learn next, and like this video. Thanks again for watching.